Welcome back everybody. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm bringing you a follow-up video to my 10 greatest rhythm guitar players video. Now the response to that has been pretty overwhelming. There's been loads of great comments and loads of great suggestions and it turns out that 10 rhythm guitarists just wasn't enough. So we're going to set sail on another top 10 and before we do that feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be making new videos like this every week. We're going to go straight in with a bit of rhythm guitar royalty and that of course is Prince. Prince Style Jam was featured in Guitar Techniques magazine issue 167 and features that funky dominant ninth chord. That's augmented with a swell of the wah pedal and then there's single note lines and also some of that classic dominant 11 16th note strumming. Prince is one of my all time favourite guitar players. I can't believe I left him out of the first top 10 so hopefully this redresses the balance. So next up is one of the most prolific rock riff writers of all time. Jimmy Page. The Jimmy Page style jam draws inspiration from tracks like Heartbreaker, uses the blues scale, power chords, palm muting and down picking, which were all innovations that Jimmy used for his riff writing. I played it on my 1959 replica Les Paul, which was an important part of Jimmy's iconic look and sound during his time with Led Zeppelin. Okay, next up we've got the Wild Man of Rock. It's The Who's Pete Townsend. Townsend had a great strumming rhythm hand. I was a big fan of the windmill strum, the brilliant showman on stage and got through a fair few guitars due to breakage. The jam track was inspired by tracks like Won't Get Fooled Again and Pinball Wizard and incorporates an accurate strumming hand with open position power chords and also chords that incorporate the open strings. Next up we've got the kernel of rhythm guitar, Steve Cropper. Steve 
Cropper has played on countless top 40 hits. He's heavily associated with the Stax record label and has played with artists such as Otis Redding and Booker T. The jam track showcases a funky R&B approach and is a lot of fun to play. Next up, we've got Nashville session guitar heavyweight, Brent Mason. Brent Mason is another prolific sideman and session guitar player. He's played with artists such as Shania Twain. The jam track is based around his solo album, Hot Wired, and this style of flashy rhythm accompaniment is based around tracks like Hot Wired and also Chicken Picking. I use the classic hybrid picking technique, which combines a pick and the fingers, gives great facility and also a really good tone. Next up, we've got heavy riff master, Tony Iommi. Tony Iommi's dark heavy riffing was right at the dawn of heavy metal and would go on to inspire pretty much a whole genre. Tony also had a few innovations such as down tuning the guitar. This was due in part to the fact that he lost his fingertips in a steel working accident and that reducing of the string tension helped him to articulate the ideas on the guitar. But it also gave a nice dark tone to the strings and helped Ozzy Osbourne's vocals fit in the right register. The jam track is inspired by classic Black Sabbath songs such as War Pigs and incorporates down picking, palm muting, power chords and that all important dominant seven sharp nine chord. Next up we've got funky R&B session guitar king David Williams. <laughs> David Williams' brand of funky R&B guitar has featured on a whole raft of multi-platinum selling albums from artists such as Michael Jackson right through to Madonna. The jam track is inspired by Michael Jackson tracks like Billie Jean and incorporates semi-quaver strumming on the octaves and also funky popping lines on the G-string. You may find it's worth experimenting with the gauge of pick with this type of funky pop strumming I like to reduce the gauge of the pick down a little bit and that acts like a compressor for my rhythm hand and just evens out all those bits of 16th note strumming and all those popping lines. Next up, we've got one of the most requested guitar players from the last video's comment section. It is of course, John Lennon from the Beatles. John Lennon is a cracking rhythm guitar player and is often overlooked. His work sold a record or two and the Beatles are one of my favourite bands. The jam track is inspired by John Lennon in acoustic guitar rhythm guitar mode 
and takes inspiration from songs like Imagine. Okay, next up we've got another member of Rhythm Guitar Royalty. It is of course Brian May. <laughs> Brian May's guitar tone is one of my favourites and it's the byproduct of several factors. I'm playing on a replica red special which is probably the least important part of his sound. One of the most important parts is the silver sixpence which is used as a pick and gives that metallic biting attack and shimmer. Brian used Vox AC30 amps cranked up full and a treble booster to coax them into a singing sustain and I've got all that set up in the Brian May package in Amplitude. Overall, Brian's riffing with Queen is killer. Combines a great tone with a great feel, and that is why Brian is firmly in my top 10. Next up, we've got Toto's guitarist and first call session guy, Steve Lukather. <laughs> Steve Lukather's rock guitar work with Toto is legendary and he's also got a list of session credits as long as your arm. Loads of collaborations with top 40 artists including Michael Jackson and his simple yet effective rhythm guitar work on songs like Human Nature are amongst some of my favourite guitar parts of all time. Okay that's it for this video. Many thanks to all of you who commented on the previous video. Sadly there wasn't enough space for all of the suggestions there are a few notable mentions that came up over and over again though. First one is the late great Rick Parfit. That classic status quo rhythm guitar part may seem simple, but it's deceptively hard to do as well as the Quo boys do it. I was lucky to do a tour with status quo supporting them and I got to see up close and personal how that riff functions. It was great to see them do it consistently night after night. Next up is one of the most influential rhythm guitar players of all time, Chuck Berry. Chuck's work was so influential it even featured in hit movies like Back to the Future, but they made a bit of a joke about how influential his guitar playing would be on future generations. And also one that's just occurred to me would be Rage Against the Machine's Tom Morello. Please do leave any suggestions in the comments below. You can also make suggestions for future videos. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I think we're on about 250 subscribers now, and it'd be great to expand our community. As ever, my name's been John Bishop, and I'll see you next time.